Hey golfers, Troy Klongerbo, I'm the editor-in-chief of usgolftv.com and today we've got the GX7, the famous GX7 medal from the Golf Channel commercials you've been seeing. So today we're going to take a look, we actually have the chance to unveil it, unwrap it, we got the brand new beautiful head cover, we're actually able to even hit a couple of shots on our Swing Caddy 2 and see how this club kind of performs, how it feels, how it looks, how it sounds and give you guys a little bit more information on what exactly this GX7 is claiming to offer and what it's actually able to deliver on. So if you guys have seen the commercials at all, you've seen the claims, swing the club like it's your 7 iron, hitting down on the golf ball and have it outperform your driver. Now when looking at any club, kind of the area to start and where most of the research and development is put and all the time and energy is put into the head. So let's talk about the head a little bit, talk about some of the features that I noticed, uh, talk about some of the features that they're promoting and that they're marketing and some of the things that they're looking to bring attention to and some of the design features there and how that's going to impact you when you're on the golf course using this club. So the first thing I noticed when I opened it up, I actually noticed a little bit of a uh, offset to the hosel. Uh, the way that that hosel is, it, 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 for those of you who don't know what an offset is, you've, you've seen it in a lot of older clubs, it actually takes that face and it actually turns that face in a little bit or points a little bit more to the inside of your target line or to the left if you're a right-handed golfer. And what that does, if you know anything about the slice um, or what causes the slice, that direction of that face has a lot to do with where that golf ball starts out and so the offset is kind of a way to alleviate that. So seeing that initial offset kind of told me that this is a club that's designed for maybe higher handicap golfers, um, maybe older players who don't have um, some of the swing speeds or consistencies that they, they once had. Actually another thing that really pointed me in that direction was when we took a look at the shaft, we requested that we got a stiff shaft sent to us and we were unable to get a stiff shaft. They were actually out of those in stock. So the only ones that they had were regulars, which tell me that they are producing most of these in the regular shaft to kind of hit that targeted of a little bit of a slower swing speed. Maybe someone who swings in the 80s or 90s, um, you know, miles per hour with their with their driver. So um, you know, as we kind of moved through this club here, we we noticed it's a 14 degree club. Which if you look at your driver, you may have a 9 degree, 10 degree, 11 degree driver. Uh, your three wood might be in that 15, 16 degrees. Maybe if it's a little stronger, maybe it is 14 degrees. But for kind of all intents and purposes, we'll, we'll say that this is kind of a two wood look to it. It's kind of in between a hybrid or in between a driver and a three wood on the loft. And the other thing I really noticed when just kind of taking an initial look at it was, was at the top uh, this this beautiful matte black finish, which which you're starting to see a lot more in clubs. That you, not, not as much of that glare, that shine, that, that off the sun. and you know, it, it, It's a lot easier on the eyes. It looks nice. It's, it, it's nice to the touch. It's really just kind of a gentle, subtle, sleeker approach. So those are kind of some of the first observations that I had. And after doing a little bit more research and taking a look at some more of the specifics of the club, there were a couple things with the design and the technology that I noticed that are really designed to help uh, you know, golfers that maybe are struggling with a slice or, or losing distance off the tee. And the first thing I noticed was the sole here. You'll notice that the sole was a lot more the way a seven iron sole is as opposed to a driver or a three wood where that sole is really elongated out along the base of the club which allows that club to be spread further along the turf which is going to give you a little bit more forgiveness that's why a seven iron and a wedge is designed a certain way and then you look at a three wood or a driver and maybe not as much of that sole is initially interacted with the turf. That wider sole is really kind of designed to, to behave a little bit more at impact like a seven iron would. Uh, the, the, the next thing that I noticed and, and after doing some research and hitting some shots, uh, a lot of the weight on this club is, is pushed way to the back and it's pushed way down. And so in, a, in an attempt to bring that CG it's a you know, physics term, to bring that CG as low as possible, they pushed that weight as far back as they could and they pushed it as far down as they could. And you'll see a gold band on the back of the club here. That kind of represents where that weight is kind of being um, you know, mostly placed on this club and that's in an attempt to help golfers hit the ball a little higher. Uh, you know, a lot of us, you know, a lot of higher handicapped golfers maybe hit the ball a little lower and they don't get that carry that they need for distance and that lower CG is going to help to do that. Uh, the last feature that I really noticed about this club was the material that the face was made of. It's, it's a very, very high-pitched, uh, sharper sounding, it's like a titanium face. So it's not as much there for feel or like a soft feedback 
upon impact, but it really is designed for speed and uh, velocity with that golf ball to really kind of help you guys optimize that, that distance and that performance. So we actually went back and took a couple of shots back here. We hit it on our Swing Caddy 2, and we were able to kind of see how this club performed, how it felt, how it sounded, and, and overall, it, it's a very versatile club. You're able to do a couple of different things, and in other videos you may have seen that we review golf clubs, we always like to talk about the versatility of a golf club. What can you do more than just one thing with it? And we noticed that with the GX7, we were able to hit it off the ground like a three wood, and we didn't really have too much of an issue. Uh, you know, some of you guys maybe try to hit drivers off the deck, and it's it's a really hard shot to hit because of the way that that club interacts with the turf. With the GX7 and the way that that sole is designed, you can hit it off the turf, uh, you know, pretty easily. We were able to hit down on it. We were able to, uh, you know, we. Since it was a brand new club, we could actually see the imprints of the, of the ball at impact. and We weren't catching it super low, we were catching it still in the center of the face, and that says a lot to the design, uh, the design feature there, and it allows, you know, allows a golfer to do that. Uh, the other thing we did is we teed it up, we teed it a little lower, because you're not going to tee it like a driver, half the ball above. Um, we teed it up more like a three wood, where maybe only a quarter of the golf ball was above the, the, the crown of the club, and we noticed that it actually did perform a lot like a driver. It, it felt like a driver, it was... It was uh, responsive in that way. Uh, you know, being a little bit shorter overall, this club's 43 inches long, which is on the driver spectrum very short, and it's, it's designed more for, uh, you know, compact. Like a lot of drivers you'll see on the market today are, are too long. They, they're long because of distance, and companies say the longer it is, the more distance that they can market. But this club is a little bit shorter, and I think it's designed a little bit more for consistent contact and giving golfers a little more control. Uh, that's a, it's a good move in my opinion, but we noticed that right away too. The way that the club is a little bit shorter, you can you can do a couple different things. You know, hitting it off the tee, hitting it off the ground, um, you know, whatever you'd like to do with it. So, uh, you know, I kind of want to start and, and take a look kind of from the top down here, quick, and then talk a little bit about the feel and kind of my verdict on the club and what I thought of it. But uh, when we're talking about the grip, first of all, it's just a stock grip built out by the GX7. They got their logo in it. I noticed that's a little small. It's a little thin. I think it's probably a slim grip. The bigger the grip gets, the harder the golf ball, the harder it is to hit that draw or get that ball to turn over. So I think by a smaller grip, they're allowing, they're trying to get guys to be able to move through the ball a little bit more and maybe eliminate some of that slice. So if you have a little bit bigger hands, you may want to look at re-gripping the club right when you get it. Maybe put a couple wraps of tape under there and get it a little bit thicker. Moving into the shaft, it's just a 60 gram stock regular shaft. I wasn't able to find any sorts of information on the web where they're sourcing um, these shafts or what type of material they use. It's just, it's just a basic standard regular graphite shaft, uh, pretty lightweight and, and, and pretty, easy to, pretty easy to swing actually fast and you know the lighter the club is the more speed you're able to swing it with. And then looking at the head, it's just kind of a very simple design. It's got some, some gold features, some black features, and some silver features, and then, then all the technology and all the, the time and the energy and the money is really put into you know, putting the weight in certain places and making sure that the sole is shaped a certain way so that it performs through the turf and you know, gives golfers a couple different options. So kind of as an ultimate verdict on this golf club, I would say it's probably not a club if you're a low handicap player. If you're maybe a five or under, it's probably not a great fit for you uh, unless you're Unless you really, really like the feel and the sound of the head, then maybe take a look at the shaft and get a shaft that fits you for your club head speed. And, and potentially it could, it could work out, but it's not really designed to, to, to benefit golfers in that situation. Where I really noticed the benefit for this club is with your higher handicap golfers and specifically your golfers with a lower swing speed. So if you're swinging your driver and you know it's in the 70s, 80s, 90s, um, and, and, and you 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 aren't going to be able to get that more speed out of it. This club is actually going to, I think, be able to really help you out. The way that the, way that the sole is designed for interaction through the turf, the way that the CG is designed, um, I think this club is designed, especially with the way that the face is too, it's designed to come off fast, it's designed to move off the face. And I think that this golf club really does, you know, it's targeted to benefit higher handicap golfers. And I think that's really what it'll do for you. So if you guys want more information, we've got a review we've put in our meta description. We've also put it in the comments down below. Head over to our website. We wrote more about it. There's more information on their website as well. That's where you can order the golf club. But overall, uh, probably not a club for a lower handicap golfer, but a great club if you're looking for an opportunity to maybe increase your distance and get a little bit more forgiveness off the tee with a, with a club that you can go to more consistently. Uh, the GX7, if you're a higher handicap golfer, would be a great fit. 
One thing I will say, impact a little bit loud. So if you're a little hard of hearing, it can really amplify that swing speed or that sound of impact for you. So, you know, the GX7, there you have it. You saw it on the Golf Channel and now you have it here. Um, you got a 100% money back guarantee, so why not take a chance on it, right? And see if you can return it. So if you guys want more information, feel free to head over to our website at usgolftv.com. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can find me at Troy Klongerbo. We'll put it right here at the, at the bottom somewhere. Maybe it's like right here. Um, and if you guys also want to follow us on Twitter, it's at usgolftv. Now be sure to subscribe. We're going to put a subscribe button. I, I don't know exactly where we're going to put it. Maybe we'll put it right here. We're gonna put a subscribe button here. Please click subscribe so you guys can keep seeing our videos as we continue to release videos. You guys wanna improve, but we're trying to put content out there that helps you guys. So by subscribing, it helps us get in contact with you easier. So uh, that's all we got for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review.